Katori's Museum. Where the past comes to life. Scrawled at the bottom in small text, it says, The Church of the Light requires us to specify that this is a metaphor. Instead, I'm going to phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh! I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. People living near the volcano flee as lava and ash blankets the surrounding land. Him I can take out fairly safely because he's already in a hidden spot. No one's likely to find him. That leaves these four that I have to take out. Before any of them can sound an alarm. But the wrath of Hochley Apochley was great. And as the sacrifice passed each of the four rooms dedicated to the sun god, the sun disappeared or reappeared in the sky. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I've ever built this one before. Oh, 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 perfect. Look at that. I got all of them. That is awesome. So confused. Oh, no, no, ah, crap. Thanks, Instara. on the loot. That's so convenient. I almost feel bad for killing him. Almost. Whoa! That's a big bear. That hardly touched it. Feeling so tough now, are you, sir? Burn, you asshole. That's one down. Oh, crap. George Lambert. Oh, God. <laughs> that was too close. Now we know. Oh, shoot. 
Ah! Oh. oh my god. Well, that escalated quickly. Hey, maybe you can use your saber to make another bridge. What an idea. That's wacky. Who to thunk? Great, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> You're kidding me. They stuck around? Who? Oh my god, the entire frickin' swarm stuck around and camped. Literally camped inside the train. Oh god. Uh. You didn't see me do that. I didn't do that. You can't prove a thing. Yes. <laughs> Journal entry added. Experience points received, 200. track to try and find the Death Star. Grand Moff Tarkin will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Moffis. <laughs> the Grand Moffis. I love it. That's right. It's called the Grand Moffis. Now, don't just stand there looking at me. Go retrieve those stolen plans. The thief fled in an ATST, so get moving. They seem a little unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. Uh, this fire that's gonna make the ship go faster, right? It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> What 
What is going on? Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today we're going to be doing some more City Skylines too, because I can't stop playing this freaking game. Though I'm going to try tomorrow and see if we can get some more Spider-Man in. Okay, thank you, Arnor. Good to know. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. I think we will get right into things here we go cities here we are yeah i spent um the last couple days playing an off stream city so i've learned a bunch of stuff from doing that that i'm really looking forward to implementing in our on stream city uh in in particular with regards to the natural resources that the game gives you and how freaking important it is that you actually get to taking advantage of those fairly quickly. So we're going to do some stuff with that, I think. Or, or at least we're going to check the availability of resources on the map as we've got it now, and we may have to rejigger the city some to take advantage of some more of that. A bit sick, but it's not COVID, so that's a bonus. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to hear you're sick. I am very glad it's not COVID, so that's got to suck. Well, uh, it's got to suck that you're sick. It's got to suck if you've got COVID. It absolutely does not suck that you do not have COVID. All right. Uh, let's sort by... Gorlandia. Gor I think that's what we want. Yes. Hey, Nixes, how's it going? <clears throat> kind of wish they had separate folders for different cities. Oh, well. I'm glad to hear that. How is everybody's... What day is today? Friday. How's everybody's Friday going? Okay, so, um, oh, we made it to winter. That's good to know. We've gotten to milestone six. We've got a population of just a little over 5,000. I can do a lot better with this. Lawkeeper and Star are just advanced. 63 months. Netflix's new subscription fees are so high that I've had to stop paying the heating bill. Gives a whole new meaning to Netflix and chill. Hi Gord. 63 months. 63 is a weird number, it feels like it should be a prime but it's not. Oh well equals 3 happy subversary. Thank you so much on Stara. I think I need to go through my alerts again. The uh, properties on that one seem a little bit off. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Why is this such a pain in the butt? Usually they snap better. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about it. If it doesn't want to be close to the railroad tracks, who can blame it? Oh. 
Aside from right here, that looks generally a lot better. Okay. Yes, it is Friday. I am looking forward to the day. Friday's the day that I make pizza. Okay. So that's garbage. We're starting to run into a little bit of a situation where some of our lots here, they're getting a little bit priced out and we've actually got a little bit of demand for this low rent housing. We don't have a lot of medium demand though, which is, I suppose, not a terrible thing if we're only gonna be replacing a few individual lots. So that one occupies that entire corner. So let's redo this one. Goodbye. So we're getting two units in there instead of the one. That's not a bad thing. And then we've got this guy over here with a similar situation going on. <clears throat> I do, Nixus. I mean, I don't make the pepperoni and all that. The pepperoni is store-bought, but the sauce is homemade, the crust is homemade, the dough for the crust is homemade. Occasionally, the tomatoes are even homegrown, although usually they're not. Oh, the sauce is really easy. Man, this is a smaller city than I thought it was. But it looks like we've got some good areas to move into. Okay, what do we have available? We can do mail. We probably should do mail. How's our budget looking first and foremost? So we're about minus 151,000. We've got over a million in stocks. Uh, in stock as in not actual stocks on the stock market, but stock is in a cache of money. We are woefully behind on all this, although how are we running a surplus on coal? Interesting. Are we already doing mining? I don't remember setting a mine up. Looks like we've got a post office, but we could use another post box. nothing terribly difficult to do. Okay. We're gonna get rid of that house. Yeah, for some reason, these mixed-use buildings, they really don't like being around these roundabouts for whatever reason. So I think we might actually do one of these guys. Oh, that is basically how you do it, Nexus. Or sometimes, you know, instead of using actual whole tomatoes, you can, you can get the tomatoes diced up or already peeled or whatever. It varies, but um, you just gotta make sure it's the right kind of tomato. The Italian sort of high density, low liquid tomato that they use, I don't, the Roma tomato, I think they're called. As long as it's Roma tomatoes, you're good. Yeah, 
yeah, something like that. Or, you know, sometimes it's good to actually use the real tomatoes, and then you do have to do all that. It's just, it's, you know, that's just what you do. It's not very hard. A little bit time-consuming, but it's worth it in the end. A little bit of practice, you can get good at it. Yep, I th yep. I mean, that's the easiest way. You could try it without the boiling, but it's probably easier if you do. Okay. Resources. I'm very curious about why we've got that, what looks like mining set up already. Oh, no. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is why we actually do have a mine set up. Oh, man, though, this is not good. <laughs> oh. This is what happens when you build too much of your city before you know what's going on. We may have to relocate everything in here because this is such valuable terrain and over here too. Uh, this has all got to be turned into mining country. On the plus side, at least this is the industrial section of the city, so it's not that big a loss. And I've got eight tiles available that I can buy. All right. We have to plan a major reorganization of the city here. Hang on. This is very important because that is super important. Okay. Um, we need to take a look at our pollution situation. So where's power? Wind. Why? What? Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's blowing in that direction. Okay, so that's actually pretty easy. We've already got land up here that we can take advantage of. We're going to have to relocate a lot of this core stuff down here, including potentially this cargo train terminal that I wanted to move already anyway. So that's not the worst thing ever. And that's actually going to be quite easy to do. Yeah, it, it can be really good, Nixus. What you do is, um, if you've if you've got a particular type, like a commercial sauce that you really like the flavor of, just look on the internet for copycat recipes, and learn how to make one or two of those really, really well, and you'll be in pretty good stead. You don't necessarily have to learn to become the master of making everything from scratch. Just learn one or two recipes to get the kind of thing that you like. Become really good at that specific recipe, and you're golden. Okay. Uh, how's our power situation? That means it's going to be time to upgrade to a different unit soon. I'm going to put them up here. Let's get them linked in. This is Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper, using only their imagination. 
through a silent audio masterpiece. Now here we sit, listening at full volume, and our souls are trapped. okay. But that's our power attack. center redesigned. On to the next episode. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Linda. But apparently, that's not all good news. Okay, our today rail yard here is guest, looking all right. Professor Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain... If I'm going to make the production, like the factory practical. section, the industrial area, largely around here, destroyed. what I could do... One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? Well, first of all, I sort of yeah, metrics, okay. perhaps yes, in the short term. What we're going like to need to do here is... What we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank body. you, Professor. It is a question of priority. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Okay, that's ugly as heck, but it's okay. We're gonna smooth it out and make this more of a gradual slope transition area here. Just wanna be a little bit careful of the terrain. Reshape it a little bit. there. I would kind of prefer to keep it. What kind of road is that? Oh, that's actually already a four-lane road. Go me. Okay. Head curved. There. Okay, with that there and our terrain more or less taken care of, we're going to get rid of this, and by get rid of, I don't mean get rid of it all. We're going to relocate this. It's going to come down here, and it's actually going to go right by the rail yard. Where does that want to connect to the road along the long side there, huh? Okay, then... Let's put it here. Oh. What just happened? Why did that fail? Over, oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot about my fire watch tower. You can sit here temporarily. like that has still managed to dig into the terrain a little bit, but that's all right. We can fix that after the fact. It's complaining now about pedestrian accessibility, which is not a problem. We can just extend the road. Pathfinding failed. There's no available path to the destination. That's not a problem. That's totally okay. We need to do there. So I'm actually going to redo these connections here. Kind of. Oh, 
that's we need to dig this down a little bit just a tiny bit okay maybe a little bit more than that is kind of hidden by my overlay but I've got 1,150 uh, sorry 1,154,628 right now or 682 actually I'm still having my coffee I'm a little bit out of it so uh, we've got quite a bit of revenue but we've got more expenses we're in the hole income wise by 147,000, which is actually pretty reasonable, especially for a city this early on. Uh, no, actually, that's a lot trickier to do than you would think that it is, the way I've got my overlay set up. We're just going to have to deal with it. The thing that would be a lot easier that I could potentially do is to maybe shrink the actual game screen a little bit it would mean there's blank space at the sides but it doesn't have to shrink very much to be above the overlay all right um we still want the curve tool thank you Let's come out here. Why is this? There we go. And then we bring that down and reconnect into the actual trunk network. And these are all single rail connections. I think for now that's gonna do. There are some upgrades we can get for this. We can add extra track capacity and we can do a storage warehouse, but I don't think we need either of those upgrades right now. CD, how's it going? I think you had the same issue with the original. Uh, which issue was that? How are you doing, CD? It's so good to see you. I hope all is well. Oh, the overlay covering stuff. You're probably right. Here, I'll tell you what. Uh, I do believe you are correct about that. Oh. Wrong scene. How's that? 
Uh, city's going okay. I'm trying to retrofit it to some of the stuff that uh, I've learned. Yeah, take advantage of some of the stuff that I've learned in playing off stream for the last couple of days. Which is a fairly significant list of things. Okay, one more thing I would like to do. Since we're going to be working in here. I'm going to get rid of these power lines, actually. I can't actually get rid of them. Be more fair to say I'm going to relocate them so that they're a little less in my face and in my way. It's good to see you. Okay, the thing I like about this is that it's got direct access to really good streets here. That should run it right into where we want our new highway connection. And speak, or uh, industrial connection. And, oh, wait, before I do this, um, yeah, okay, so I've unlocked highways. I'm going to redo this, and I'm going to create an actual highway interchange right here that will make things pretty nice. So I think we're going to go with a six-lane divided road. We're going to elevate it. We're going to elevate it. There we go. Thank you. this okay one two we'll come out to the three mark here why does this keep going back to straight lines you're tuned in to I'm gonna do my best move. to try to the keep this uniform so let's bring it out 24 control. then we're gonna and curve it and go out to 75. Street. The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer 77, shoes but while sipping a do. fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. Interesting. The point Why is, is this having trouble? It and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the Maybe economy is booming. Elevated. More after this.
It's not liking this back section here. should work and then I'll try redoing this. good highway interchange right here so when stuff comes along here from the train situation it can use the highway to get into the city or out of it and local things can take advantage of it as well so all this stuff we've got up here so that'll be very valuable to our industry uh, this actually will also have a side benefit these power plants, the coal power plants, are now very close to their own highway interchange, which will make working with the coal a lot easier. At least for the short time until we've completely revamped this and turned it into a massive coal mine. In which case, they shouldn't really need to import a lot of it, hopefully. Okay, um, we actually have a lot of office demand too. I don't often see that, that's actually pretty interesting and good. Was the train situation sorted out? That's the power situation sorted out. Next, I guess we need to take a look in here and see what we're getting rid of. We have a taxi depot. Uh, let's see where this taxi depot needs to be. If it can stay where it is or if it has to be relocated. That needs relocating. Okay. We are going to pop you probably... there should work. That also gives the taxis really easy access to the highway so they can get to wherever they need to go faster. Okay, these are all industrial zoned areas. Yeah, I don't think there's really much of anything that was plopped in here. Interesting that I don't have massive amounts of industrial demand, actually. Oh, colossal ore. What is... Oh, that's the actual mine itself. Okay. We no lo longer need this extra track. I'm not happy to see that whole arrangement go away. That was always very ugly. Uh, bus depot as well. Okay.
use this building. Oh, that's my post office. I guess this is just gonna be a sort of general little service center area. That's a bridge, I can't really do that. For lack of a better place, you can go right there. sector is hating me right now. Oh, uh, we can probably leave that tower where it is, I would think. Yeah, that's outside of the range, so we can leave that where it is. That should be okay. this has to go, except for this. the bus routes and all that too. probably just completely redo the bus routes. I think I've thrown them into complete chaos at this point. going to replace it with one that is much shorter. There we go.
good enough. That should be a huge increase in the amount of coal that we can dig out of here. That's as far as this facility can go, but I could potentially do another mine down here. Now I have to replace all of that lost industry that we just got rid of. Uh, so how are we going to do this? This is Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper, using only their imaginations as guides through a silent audio masterpiece. Now, here we sit, listening at full volume, and our souls are transported. Mm. But let us not tarry. On to the next episode. We've recently been having what some are calling the worst kind of luck there is. That's right. Today, we are talking about the increased likelihood that you'll die. That's not exactly what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, that gives me the creep. Uh, that's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Pan did, you, did you say panic? She said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll stay and clear up no the No problem, Erin Lord. You do we'll what you got to do. This. Okay. See, this is where these power lines are going to bite me in the butt again. I might actually have to relocate these to keep them more on the fringes of the city instead of where they are right now. Let me just double check the wind direction. Yeah, actually, it would probably be better to move these up maybe into this corner here. So let's get this... Rename this... A street so much as an avenue and we're going to extend that out a ways I know that kind of undoes the benefit I was talking about earlier where the um, oh no See, this is a problem I have with this game. It's a very minor problem, but it's annoying, and it's something that I don't remember City Skylines 1 having. I just renamed this. It was Sunnyside Street, then I renamed it Sunnyside Avenue, and now because I have deleted a few sections and it changed the nature of the road, it's generated a brand new name. I like a little more consistency in my naming than that. Okay, I will allow it. Uh... I'm OK 
okay with it being Hickory. This is definitely more of an avenue. Good to take into account. Okay, so I was going to move the power plants up in here, but if there's an underground aquifer, which is what that is, it's a water resource, I don't want to pollute that. So I think we're going to actually put this right here. get rid of a huge amount of this power line. Just connect those up like that. We should still be good. side benefit of having it here instead of here is it's still got access to the highway interchanges. Not the same one, but that's okay. That's fine. And then I can start building my relocated industrial complex probably right in here, actually. got some decent fertile land out here which is really good it's kind of a shame there's a highway running through it what else do we have oh right I wanted to do something with this too oh there's more over here okay so maybe before I worry about tearing all this up just go and grab that. So let's go into our tile acquisitions. And I'm going to grab these two. Yeah, so that gives me that. I might have to do some rebending of the highway. Or maybe... I discovered yesterday while I was playing off-stream that it is possible to zone housing underneath elevated roads and if there's enough clearance like you're not gonna build a skyscraper an apartment like a massive apartment complex but single-story homes will have no problem spawning underneath elevated roads and bridges so I'm just wondering if maybe I elevate the highway here would I be able to and the, tr the train line as well I wonder if I'd be able to take advantage of this mining area. You'd live there? Yeah. And the other option, of course, is I just tear this out and I route it down and around a little bit. That would be pretty simple to do. Highway at 30 to 40 meters is good. Trucifer, welcome on in. Then again, I'd live underground. Fair. I have a highway at 40 meters going through a city and have homes underneath. Yeah, I don't know that you even need to be that high up. Like, this was just a standard bridge, maybe 10 meters up, and it had no problem spawning single-family, low-density housing.
but we're gonna de gonna definitely turn this into another mine. Uh, but I can't let myself get distracted. I tore out all of my uh, my uh, industrial. We need to go and we need to rezone that. So we're gonna need a few more roads in here, I think. That ought to make up for the loss over here. It is X-Wing. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm having issues getting skyscrapers in my city of 50k. I'm not anywhere near 50k yet. I think I just hit maybe 10k in my off-stream off, uh, play. I'm sitting at about 5k right now in this city. But I also haven't unpaused the simulation since I started this stream almost an hour ago. I learned a lot in my off-stream city that I've been trying to re-replicate here, so I'm just coming in and just <sighs> massive changes. Like, this used to be the core of my in industry, and I've turned it into a coal mine. I think it's a coal mine. Is that coal mine or is that ore? That's coal. That's why it's Colossal Lore. Okay. So, we've just relocated the industrial complex, so that should be fine. Um, before I make too many more sweeping changes, we have about two and a half minutes before I have to start my break. Let's actually unpause the city and see what happens. Okay, so the new industry is taking to its new location quite nicely, to all appearances. You'd have it unpaused if it had Twitch integration. Thankfully, I don't have Twitch integration. I've been eating all day, so you're drowsy now? What's the occasion next wing? Is it a holiday or something like that? Oh, what's going on? Why? What? Oh, do you not? Oh, right, water. Uh, oh, I also. You're listening to Second Moon, the epitome of classical listening at home or wherever you are. Epitome. <laughs> wow. Okay. I just remembered. When I get back from break, I'm going to have to repair my transit because I completely screwed over my um, my bus lines when I just got rid of a whole whack of Connected City and a few stops. And uh, I will also need to add some sort of service up here. Maybe what we'll do is... 
just so that they've got some way to get around transit-like. Let's put in a sheltered taxi stand right in the middle of this area. There you guys go. I'll even do you one better. You can have a mailbox up here too. Isn't that fancy? Today's 18C weather displeases me. I know, Aunt Sarah. I was so warm last night I couldn't sleep properly. I have a friend in BC getting minus five. I'm so envious. Ugh, tell me about it. It was so nice for a little while there. It was getting almost into the negatives, and then it all just got ruined. But it's supposed to get cold again next week, so it's not all bad. No! Stop! Let me rezone first. Oh, wait a minute. No, wrong. There. Enjoy the warmth before the world tries to off you and requires you to wear so many layers you can't easily move. See, you say that like it's a bad thing, Aaron Lore. This is what we live for. But it is now time for me to start that break. So if you guys don't mind, I will be back in just a few minutes. If you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a very good time to do it. I'm going to grab some more coffee and I'll meet you back here in a few. Back. Get back here. Where are you? Warning. Shields are offline. Warning. Ship in critical condition. really is resident eviling us, isn't it? Oh god. It this literally is the first Resident Evil movie. Excuse me, do you mind if I uh poke around in your car a little? You do? Oh, hello. Wasn't talking to you, buddy. Ow. Ah. You jerk! Whoops. <laughs> um, very sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, Dolph dear. I prayed to the gods, and when they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? much wow game there's something in there something horrible 
Well, <laughs> All right. what do you mean you can't reach my freaking location? Right, coming. Oh, okay. Now you can reach my location, can you? You were stuck on one tiny little thing. Away with you! You shall not pass! <laughs> what timing! Uh, oh shit. Oxygen. Oh, this might be my first death. Ah, too far. Oh my god, I made it. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. There. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. It might seem strange, but it'll keep her safe from time fall and chiral contamination while allowing her to breathe. Excuse me. I'm in the wagon, ready to go. I'm out of the hole. First try. All right, I'm back. I have more coffee. Life is good. Okay, uh, we, did I rezone that? Yes, I rezoned that. Okay, so we're good there. Thank you, Anstara. just kind of going around selectively upgrading the density of some of these residential areas once they get to the point where they're too high rent because what happens is the land value increases and then the rent costs too much for the number of people that live there it's not spread over enough so too few people are shouldering the burden so you upgrade the density so more people can live there and they can afford it more easily You have a weird 20 degrees. That is bull crap, Aranor. 20 degrees Celsius is too warm. Meanwhile, at minus 40, I hate my life and become inert. Yes. It's not a weird perception, it's science. The cutoff is actually 25C. Citation needed, sir. That is not lived experience in Canada, I can tell you that right now. The science needs to be re-examined and it needs to expand to include other areas where people who live and have adapted to colder climates exist quite comfortably because, you know, we do have a certain amount of plasticity in our bodily makeup that can allow us to adapt to different temperature ranges with, you know, the thickness of the blood and all that other kind of stuff.
because I can definitely see that being true further south closer to the equator. It's not true here. Okay, now, what devastation have I wrought on our bus lines? It looks like it's actually adapted, which is kind of impressive. I'm gonna redo these, though. Let's get rid of these. Okay, no more bus lines. We do have some stops. I am going to put in... It's a cargo terminal, so there's really no point in having Recent a bus spikes stop in near that. Recent have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. What? The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. This Water availability is fine. Week. What are you getting on about? Okay, That's Thomas ridiculous. Rodenbuckle. Before we dive into our next election, I'd like to take a few memento moris to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. For our newer, less able listeners, first, we will be dancing through the al dent section before entering the slower Largo movement, finally, then savoring Individual the Individual plasticity, Aaron Lord, it's a thing. So, without further ado, let's That's also raise science. the curtain and begin. Weird that I can't get closer to the track there. Oh well, I have to live with it. Let's take a look at how this has had an impact so far. It looks like our coal mining is getting into nice surplus territory, which is pretty good. to do more of that kind of thing soon. Um, right, we were going to do more bus service. Okay, so... I think I'm going to do three lines to start with. Start one. Here. Come along to here. 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 To there. there. Hmm, you know what? These are poorly placed. Let's get rid of those. Don't worry, folks. They're coming right back. Just want them on the other side.
missed one. Oh well, that's okay. I need a corresponding counter stop anyway. We can adjust the route. Does the sim just let you build a small town too, or does it push you to keep building megacities? They actually seem to have made it a design goal to allow you to create smaller towns if you want to. I'm not experienced enough with this specific one to really get into how, but apparently you can. Uh, you know, I've only been playing this a few days, so I'm not a grand master at it or anything like that, but that's my understanding. stops here. So that'll be the one line. So that covers mostly here. And uh, you come up here to this area. And then we're going to have another pair of lines. I think there's something wrong with my route planning there, but we'll go with that and see how it works for now. gets used, but I think that's probably acceptable.
Okay, we still got demand for offices. We've got commercial demand, which is good to see. And then our residential demand seems to mostly be low density residential, which honestly, not much of a surprise there. I do want to see this pop in and repopulate. Not a bad place to put some offices too, though. I'm gonna rezone a few of these areas here to be office space. And they could probably use a little lo local shopping too. So I'm not gonna put a lot in, but let's put a little commercial area right in the center there. Buses. Spawn because we don't have demand for this, but I'm going to put that up because eventually we will get more demand for medium. So we'll be ready for that. Listening to Second Moon, the station for the cultural sophisticate, who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere of the classical genre. Let us move now from the uh, musical page. Love to these the intersections. Music. Man, that would have been a nightmare in Cities One. Okay. Correspondence from a listener. My dear Professor Hornbuckle. <laughs> Whereas I make no apology for my erudite, uh, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle arts. Though I do thank you for the honor, mm. uh, but I digest to continue. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. 
There now, my good fellow. Chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Okay, let's have a Leave look at our intersections here. Poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. So that'll take up... Oh, we have more industrial demand coming in. So that'll fill in more of this. That's really good news. Some of the office spaces are uh, coming up too. The law and accounting, sing tape records. We've got two, the law and accounting, interesting. Pink and sparkly. I know. Maito. Ivetsu. Spendles Rides. I love the names of the businesses. Also, can't help but notice, since we've got a lot of mining and stuff going on, a lot of the industry that's popping in looks like it's related without having to create an area for it to specifically do that, which is really, really nice. I appreciate that a good deal. I suppose it wouldn't be a bad idea to connect up some of these roads. I left a lot of devastation when I reconfigured everything. This area, that's actually come to life really nicely. That's very encouraging. So it looks like the city has recovered pretty well from having this all torn right out. I think we're in fairly good shape. Let's see how our cash flow is doing. Hasn't really affected our balance, which is actually good. That means we didn't trash the entire city. So, great. That's fantastic. Services... We're paying a lot for transportation and health care. That's fine and dandy, though. Material surplus for coal is doing pretty good. I would like to make this. This is one of our biggest deficits. This is grain farming, and I think we had some fertile land. Let's take a look at what we can do to improve that. Oh. Okay, it's a little unfortunate that it's right here this part might be a little bit iffy but that's okay we'll make the best of it what's the worst that could happen so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop down grain farm and we're gonna go right across
going to end up clobbering a little bit of this uh, industrial. But honestly, it's real bad for the farming anyway. So maybe not the worst thing ever. It's also taking up most of that office space, but yeah. Sometimes that happens. Let's just take a look and see. There's a little bit of fertile land south of the road, but I'm not, or below the road rather. I'm not gonna worry too much about that though. Lari's lentils. Okay, let's have a look here at production. Deficit is decreasing. Production increasing. I don't think that one farm is going to be enough to completely eliminate that deficit, though. But it's definitely helping. Okay, before we lose the light entirely, let's see if there's more spots where we can take advantage. Well, we can almost certainly do some forestry over here, or maybe this would be better. I could buy a few more tiles because we've got six more available to us. There's also some more fertile land out there. And oh my god, look at these. Whew. That's some very nice and tempting looking terrain over here. That looks... There's, there's a lot right in this area. That looks so good. Plus, we've got the other side of the highway here that we can take advantage of. We just need to get a road over there. And I've got a road over here, so that's easy done, easily done. So that's a possibility. I think I am going to buy a few tiles up here, though. Grab those.
So I've got three left. If I grab those three, that would be really, really nice. So let's do that. Probably wait until daytime again. I don't know if there's a way you can toggle the time of day for building sake, but it's usually dip too dark to really build effectively at night. If the Aurora Borealis comes out though, then that's a different story. That tends to light things up pretty nicely. The smog is just unbearable. Someone should really deal with all this air pollution. That's Edna Quinlan. Who has no air pollution to speak of that she needs to deal with. At least not at home. Let's maybe, where does she work? Oh, that is where she works. Where does she live? <laughs> she lives down the street from where she works and there's no air pollution to speak of, so I don't know what you're getting on about, Edna. The good news is it doesn't affect the actual in-game time. Even with night turned off, the hours will still continue to pass, but daytime will always be visible. What? Settings? Gameplay settings? You're kidding me. Oh my god, thank you, Aranor. I'm going to play with that mostly, you know, uh, mostly keeping daytime on. But that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we need just a little road out here. And now we want forestry. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please Bull exercise crap, caution sir. if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. This is actually it looks a little bit too bright. For the modern age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone oh, sitting um, in front of a sheet of blank paper. There, okay. Using only their imagination. That's better. As guides through a silent. I paused it too quickly. Masterpiece. Now here we sit, listening at full volume, and our souls are transported hmm. but let us not tarry on to the next episode we're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city road maintenance services have already been dispatched thanks for that crack reporting sir but if you're planning the a quick detail trip out, is you exceptional might want to wait a little while until everything clears up if you're in it you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Good to know we've got the greatest news reporting in the country. Perhaps the world.
Oh, shoot. Uh, that... That works for now. That's fine. We just need to get rid of these. Temporarily. Yeah, I guess they did know. I'm glad they fixed that, though. That was always frustrating in the first game. Ah, okay. Missed it. enough. Alright. Stein. Yeah, it seems to be. Alright, sometimes it takes a little bit, so let's just go focus over here. Now, this unfortunately has got a big track running through it, but we can always readjust that if necessary. Oh, you know what? That does not look like it's going to be an issue. Resource not available. What is that resource then? Oh, I wonder if that's oil. That means I'm not going to be able to use it for a while, but it's going to be really, really nice when I can. Uh, but over here, let's have a look at this. We can do some vegetable farming. Vegetable farming turned out to be extremely valuable in my other city. So let's go right down here to maximize the amount we can use it. I need a road down here. That's going to be the trick. But it shouldn't be too bad. I haven't even used this uh, Vermont Street yet. A bridge over this little river here. What? What do you mean in water?
hate those last second turns. So it looks like it runs up to about here. Get a little bit of a lake shore and then I'll just bring it in from there. as we can. I think that will do, mostly. So we can fill in the rest of this as soon as I'm able to buy this tile over here. farming. Now we've got a very nice surplus running. Maybe not as good as the coal. Coal looks like it's kind of taken the cake in this city. Oh, okay. And it fluctuates. I wonder if there's a seasonal difference. Winter's not exactly ideal for vegetable farming, I suppose. It's interesting that our wood production is so bad. We either bring in a lot from elsewhere, or maybe it's another seasonal thing.
Yeah, it, it very well could be. Coal would not be affected by that, but both forestry and vegetable farming could easily be. And this. So we'll have to see. Now, one thing that we can do is we do have this handy cargo terminal. Um, let's go out to the water where we've got better contrast. Okay, so we've got lots and lots and lots of stuff stored. Ideally, we want as much of this stuff to be locally sourced as possible. Because imports are expensive and exports are valuable. So how's our current cash looking? Hey, that's improved. Look at that monthly balance. We were at like 150 in the hole. You're listening to Second Moon. That's gotten a lot better. That, that's much better. Fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere of the classical genre. Let us move. Now oh, and we've got high density to the demand for literary. residential now too. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My dear. Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas it's I it's going pretty no good, Sketchy. How are you doing? For my erudite, uh, modesty demands that I prevaricate against <laughs> the title. I love this guy's pronunciations. Erudite, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle arts. I'm glad to hear Though that, Sketchy. Though I do thank you for the honor, mm. uh, but I digest. To continue. <laughs> Uh, Professor Hornbuckle. Oh my as god, a this guy. From my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road weary soul. Hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up. We'll create a bit of a nightmare on Elm Street. Sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within okay. the Where did I stick our cause. cargo it's terminal? Here we go. Entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. I really want to build the warehouse, but I don't really... Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But while we are I don't really need it yet, though. But let's save the money. We're doing pretty good uh, reducing the, the negative you, cash Professor. flow situation. And on to our main feature story. The commercial right, district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury Okay, so to this is a mix of commercial you and residential. I think we need more residential, while though. sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife oh, What is me. this? That's good for business and good for the community. Oh, this is a passenger Thanks, train Steve. station. Okay. We'll be back after this. I like that I called it maple i guess yeah that's named after the road all right uh and we've got the taxi stop add-on already station services are only sixteen thousand a month let's put those in there we go it'll nicen up the area a little bit now commercial is struggling a little bit right now we really oh we actually do have demand for commercial Okay, so maybe we won't do that. Can't really draw a road down here. Just 
This would be a nice area for some parks, though, I think. density residential demand so let's put some of that in and one of the nice things is the game tells you what areas are suitable and what aren't this corner right here is terrible for low density residential because it's red but all this stuff is nice and green so we're gonna put this in all through here and we're just gonna avoid that area. This area is okay. So let's go here, put it there, and we're just gonna, yeah, see, we switch over to medium density, and this is fine. So we're gonna, even though there's no demand at the moment, I'm gonna put some of this in here where it's better suited than the low density, and we'll just let that fill in later. Well, because there's a train station right here, presumably there's a lot of noise from that, noise pollution. So the single family residential stuff isn't as good for there. Got a little bit of a growing commercial area right here by the train station. Let's look at our transit. Okay, we really don't have any here other than the train station itself. Uh, we do. Oh, never mind. Yes, we do. Perfect. The train station has a taxi stand and it's got the bus stand. Looks like people are starting to complain about police coverage. Yeah, out here is not the best. It's actually getting a little spotty in a few different areas. Corundum Condos. A modern classic that puts a smile on the face of its inhabitants. That would be a nice addition to this new area up here. Maybe we put that right opposite the train station. Or actually we'll do it right here. Plus four well-being within one kilometer. Average wealth comfortable. That may change as more people move in. So it's sort of wavering between comfortable and modest. I rarely see that word used. Oh my god. I just noticed we have a break starting up in 10 seconds or so. I will be back in a few minutes if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something. This would be a real good time to do it. I'll see you back here in a few. <laughs> Oops. So I don't suppose this decorative pool has any special science stuff to it. Not so fast. Stop, 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 stop. 
There we go. And he nails the finish. Spider-Man does it again. That's the first time in either of these games that I've actually successfully caught the car. That's I'm impressed at that. That's pretty cool. Why did the ground shake? What happened? Oh my god. What the hell? Who did that? What? What is that? Oh my god. Oh crap. never going to get ahead in life but we will the decaying corpse lies before you oh it's a strength check maybe i should use carlac This is why I pick up possibly important corpses and carry them on my characters who aren't in the party. Oh god. Hope you never find employment as an executioner. Do you want to do this? The head from the drow's twisted neck. I love that Baldur's Gate clip so much. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I posted on Discord yesterday. It finally arrived. I have the Planescape set now. So I've got the box set for this and for Spelljammer, my two favorite settings in all of D&D. It was a bit of an ordeal to get it, so I don't think I'll ever do the bundle deal again. It's probably great if you happen to be in the States. Man, the international shipping was an ordeal. I would have had it so much faster, cheaper, and easier if I had just got the D&D Beyond digital version separately from the physical version and ordered that either from Amazon or maybe a local store or something like that. 
Ugh, man, nope, not doing it again. Not Wizard's fault, mind you. It, it's not their fault. They did their part pretty promptly and very quickly, but it's just the realities of international shipping between the U.S. and Canada. Okay, more complaints about smog. This might be slightly easier to justify, although with the wind pre prevailing direction, I still How think delightful. you have very Another little letter from to our complain about. Listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. But got it does remind me we should probably start doing some districting. Music these days so I'm going to set one up yes. over Lee here to start with. The great Hayden himself. Hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Ah, oh, yes. Soul. A raison d'etre. Mm, delicious. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't fun. Okay, so that's, that's Linden yes, Junction. Indeed. We might rename that. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early experience. The pronunciations, funk, oh my god. Is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful camps. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And That's you know what that probably means. accurate. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a what good thing. What do you mean or overlapping we items? We're enjoying a positive trade balance, and the economy is booming. More after this. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Oh. I already had a little district here. Okay, in that case, let's just expand this one. I get it. I wish there was better contrast when you're laying out these areas. Fairview Town, that's fine. I won't worry about districting up here. You blame Satan. How's it going, Ben? This game is on Game Pass? Yep. Yep, it was a day one Game Pass release. I don't have Game Pass. 
I, I, I evaluated it. I had Game Pass for a little while, but it turned out not to really be a great value for me. But it is a pretty great option for a lot of people. Okay, so districting. I think we're going to have to start... Uh, okay, we've gone back up a little bit to 87,000. Um... speed bumps to reduce uh, noise pollution and that's probably all for now we were having trouble with crime though Okay, so we've only got the one police station that's up there in the other district. So I think what we're going to do is, where's our police station that's here, Holly Street Police Station? We're going to set you to only operate in Coleridge and Fairview. So they're not going to come down here anymore. We're going to put in a new police station specifically for Linden Junction which we're probably going to rename because I don't like the name very much. All uh, right, so we've got high school here. Oh, right, I forgot we've got this massive football field. Um, don't love that. I'm thinking maybe we put it in right in this area here, so I apologize in advance for your homes. I'm gonna have to remove Washington Lane. just going to operate within this district over here. Hey, Gooby, what's going on? This one, I love this game, Gooby. It's everything I like about the first game, only mostly better. I can't really, like, there was a lot of DLC for the first one, so I can't say 100% better, but it's pretty darn close. I love everything they've included in the base game. It's just really, really fun. Uh, what happened? What? Wait, wait, but... Oh, it's over here. Okay, no, that's fine. This is just going to end up keeping the name, isn't it? I guess that's okay. Oh, crap. What? Why, why are we dying on power? Oh my god, are you joking? How can we have two coal plants and we still don't have enough power? Okay, it might be time for me to take out my first loan, guys. I don't think I've got much of a choice here. 
Loans are a great way to finance city building when needed. Taking out a when taking out a loan, pay attention to the interest rate and resulting monthly costs so you don't end up overspending. When you have borrowed money, you are only paying the interest every month. In other words, the loan amount remains the same until you choose to pay it back. To take out a loan, move the slider to the right until you reach the desired amount. The loan interest rate and resulting monthly cost are adjusted automatically. You have an upper limit to how much you can borrow. This increases as you reach milestones. When you have the desired amount in the total loan amount window, select Accept. After accepting the loan, your city immediately receives the funds and you can spend them however you like. If you need to borrow more money in the future, move the slider further right and accept again. The new loan is combined with the old one, so in effect, you only ever have one active loan and one monthly payment. Okay important distinction there in the first game you would automatically gradually pay the loan off until it was gone that's no longer true so that's something to watch out for watch out for loan sharks coming from the seas of money i hear they break legs yeah i think that's true actually we wanted six hundred and fifty thousand for a new power plant so the monthly cost is 60 grand. So that's going to be fun. Interest rate is 9.3. The deep end. Have a total loan of at least 200,000 in a single city. All right. On the plus side, that means we can destroy these. So, yes. I don't think it will let me. So instead, we're going to relocate you up he over here. Come on. What is overlapping? Oh, probably power lines. Shoot. Oh, this is frustrating. Apparently, we've got the cursed coal power plant. There's nothing to overlap. Unless it's just a terrain issue. This goes in no problem whatsoever. Why? Why? Just why? there. Whatever it was, it's fixed now. Last time I put in one of these things, I had to do some serious fixing around the city because I had overloads in the power grid, so we're going to have to be careful of that. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions okay. improve. 
This has been a local public service announcement. Starting off my day with a fresh that game of Civ 6, checking superbly. out the DLCs. Very nice. I love Civ 6. I was reminded of that earlier today when I got a dose of some of the clips that we've got from it. It is such a fantastic game. They've got to be well on their way towards Civ 7 by now. Really looking forward to that one. In the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if okay. you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in okay, there, you, uh, so you are our monthly normal. balance is no not quite as nice you. anymore. Meanwhile, uh, but that's okay. Drive safe. We're likely to get a lot of XP for building this monstrosity. Which will probably... Come on. We're still not a boom town. What? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, never mind. I think we are about to hit it. We are all playing city builders as you're playing The Simpsons tapped out on your tablet. That's awesome. There's one coming out next year. I think it's called Manor Lords or something that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, I need just a little more XP. We have a bit of commercial demand. Maybe I can find a place to fit some of that in. Oh, right up. Nope. Never mind, that's part of the mine. Um, maybe here. No news on Civ 7 since February? Not surprising. They're not going to want to talk about it a lot. sapping what demand there was for commercial. We will let that run. Come on. Milestone 7. Oh, that's why it looked weird. Okay, 32.26. We need... 74 XP. There was this over here. Uh, that's going to be a difficult. Oh, look at this area here. This would be, wouldn't this be a really, really nice seaside area. My treasure hunting show returned on the 12th? What show is that? Yeah, that's literally true when it comes to game design, Ben Fleet. No news is good news. It means they're focused, they're working, they're getting it done, they're worried more about making the game good than about, you know, hyping it up and inflating expectations. Ah, uh, the Curse of Oak Island. I've heard of that one. I've never seen it. Okay, for this though, we would have the problem we have to cross over the tracks, so we're going to have to bridge or tunnel. And bridging is probably easier because there's already a highway tunnel under here. What's going on there? Oh, they're waiting for a hearse. How's our healthcare looking? Maybe that's another way that we can work on stuff. Looks like it's okay, although might not be the worst idea to have a clinic for up here. That would be another 105,000 a month. All right, never mind that. Healthcare's looking all right. 
has fire coverage. That's maybe a little bit more iffy, but not unacceptably so. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot to return us to day-night visuals. I don't want to play that way permanently. Oh, crap. Backed up water. Okay, that's what we can do. Because our bridge does not carry... Right. That will probably have a pretty serious effect on our production. There we go. Milestone 7 unlocked. Busy town. Things are looking good. They're getting close to discovering if there's Templar treasure on Oak Island. Very cool. Seven development points. We're going to open trams. Oh, I've got college unlocked already. Let's get university. I should probably have a, a, a college if we've got that unlocked. Three points remaining. I can't do subway. Maybe we'll do a post-sort facility. anything I can get for just one point. Small emergency shelter, maybe. Okay. And we can get more land. So I'm going to, just right off the bat, I'm going to grab that one. Okay, so that's about as good as that's going to get for now. Now, what else? Did that unlock any new resources? It did. We can get ore mining, but we can't do oil drilling. Yeah, so that's got to be petroleum down there, sadly. We need another milestone before we can get that. Erinor already looted it, yes. Looks like I don't need more tiles to get this. Um, there is some more fertile land down here we can grab.
Oh, there's this. trying to maximize the amount of area that I get. Okay. So, now... Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We Bull urge the public crap. to remain what are you talking about rolling these blackouts? And to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Unless I haven't what unpaused kind of since does I did all that. Have if it doesn't look to its past? I suppose well, that's possible. I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily uh, it's possible. on what's behind you. I think it's more likely, though, that I just haven't unpaused A the game since I built the new plant. Up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank person. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. Interesting news from the city's export division. Okay. Sources tell us that our city has more hey boy, services what's going than we on. know what to Clearly the announcer intends you know to sabotage the power grid. It I think you might be right about that. Things close enough. Well, no. The point I think is you're probably correct. It and bringing money into local That's right. Economy. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say Grind that we're enjoying a, a positive trade balance. And the economy is booming. 
More after this. Oh, look at that. Very nice. So metal ores. Metals and machinery. And furniture. So that... Uh, the surplus of furniture, that's a result of that forestry that I set up. That's pretty good. Immaterial goods, this is mostly office type stuff. So we're still having to... Looks like we're importing financial materials. Or immaterials. And software and telecoms. There's not a lot we can do about that until we start getting our office demand up. Look at that. Monthly balance. We've recovered nearly half of it. We still do have that outstanding loan, though. But I can pay that off, I believe. How, how would I do that? There we go. Done. Oh. Our waste processing doesn't seem to be very good at the moment. What's going on? Yeah, sewage treatment. We need to bump that up. Okay, we can do that. We've already upgraded that a little bit. Let's put another outflow. Customers. What's this? What the heck? Why can I not bulldoze? It will not let me bulldoze. That's super weird. I think maybe it might be time to restart the game. So I'm going to save over with our new progress. That is weird. We'll just restart the game. It'll be okay. Okay, and I'll get it going again. If you're running out of space to build, see if you can purchase a new map tile. Uh, 
Okay, high rent. density and it looks like we've got a few more okay but that's commercial that's not enough customers we don't want to do that we want more customers for them we don't want to eliminate them entirely and get rid of you we'll upgrade your density City's actually looking pretty good. We don't have very many notifications anywhere. Setting up alert while you play some Stellaris with a friend? Sounds good, Jarek. Enjoy. Wait a minute. That did not load the correct save. We've still got two coal power plants. I've had that happen before. Okay, that was 1457. That looks about correct. Let's try loading that one instead. <laughs> That looks better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, problem taken care of. And that's already... It's already rezoned. There. Okay. We seem to be doing all right now. Uh, we have a few more notifications here, but this is mostly commercial with not enough customers. Oh. What's this? Oh, crap. Uh, right. Okay. You have to be careful with your train connections. Making sure that your tracks actually link up is kind of important. Yeah, that's double track. linked good that's probably gonna work a lot better when that actually connects in that was a really bad piece of track to not have connected but we should be all right now I mean, actually, technically, it would still work because this side provided an active link to the same piece of track. It's just now it's a little bit easier for everything to connect in. Okay, so that's that. Ah, what's going on here? I can't upgrade the density of of um, industrial, so we're going to ignore that and hope it tr takes care of itself. They're just going to have to suffer under unduly high rents. Actually proud of myself. Managed to put together the new shelving Steph brought home. She has a cart just like this that's made of plastic. The new one is just like it, but metal, so it's stronger and will last longer. Wasn't the easiest of tasks to complete, though, given my lack of mechanical thinking prowess and having cerebral palsy, so you feel good about it? Congratulations, that is awesome. Hopefully that makes life a little bit easier. My aunt has a lot of carts and, like, wheeled contraptions to help move things around, so I know how much of an impact stuff like that can have. Uh, 
Okay, so let's just verify. We have no outstanding loans. Production looking good. Vegetable garden starting to show a little bit of a surplus. Ores and coal are looking pretty good. Okay. So we've got positive demand for high density residential and a little bit of commercial, and of course the ever popular low density residential. Plus we've got some more unfilled industrial demand, so. Living near industrial areas is terrible. Pollution spreading all over the ground. You're nowhere near industrial. What are you going on about? You're being ridiculous. There's no ground pollution here, ma'am. Although there is over here, maybe we can deal with some of that with uh, a little bit of tree planting. I don't know if this game actually works this way, but we're going to give it a shot and see. That's the worst that can happen. Okay, they will grow over time. A real town of Karen sometimes, yes. You are not wrong. Maybe a little more right in here. Is this getting used at all? I might need to relocate this, that's pretty terrible. Um, I could even just get rid of that, I think. Some of these other lots get used. That's 10k a month. Let's get rid of it. I'm sorry, folks, but if you don't want me to get rid of stuff like that, you gotta actually make use of it. I'll put in a cheaper option instead. There you go. We'll see if they use that. about too high rent so you can get lost go away we have high density demand so we're gonna upgrade you
Now, I had pinpointed earlier that we have a problem that is... Oh, we're actually going to need some more education in elementary fairly soon. We're all right for now. There are 713 eligible students, and we've got 1,000 capacity. Our high school's doing pretty well, but we have no college. We have no college at all. So I think we need to fix that. You know, I wonder if maybe we could build the college down here. Seems like it'd be a pretty nice spot for it. Let's take a look at the elevations here. That looks like it's reasonably okay. this out here, leave a little bit of space towards the um, side over here because there are upgrades for colleges, including the college library and whatnot. go. It's a little weird that that got disconnected, but there we are, all fixed. And I think we'll just build a little bit of a neighborhood in here. got demand for low low density commercial or uh, residential and a little bit of commercial so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a taxi stand right across or right at the entrance probably put in stops as well so I can extend a line and then because we've got some transportation options right here I will make that my commercial area for this section just fill in a little bit of 
zoning right here. And the rest can go to low density residential. line as well. Um, <clears throat> bus line one. Bus line two. Three minute warning, by the way. We're gonna have another break in three minutes and this will be a slightly longer one. This is when I'm gonna make my tea. So I'll probably need six to eight minutes for this one. Smog is just unbearable. All right, Adele, where are you? You're nowhere near smog, I'm afraid. I'm going to ignore your complaints. Let's make sure that, uh, Okay, it's already in Linden Junction. That's perfect. Okay. How's our education doing now? So, we have 16 college students, but we've got 1,000 capacity, and we have 2,103 potentially eligible students. So we'll just have to wait for that to start to fill out. I could potentially do a passenger train right in this area, actually. Fairview Town, we do have a fair number of people living here. I mean, that, well, not a fair number. We've got some. I wonder if that'd be worthwhile. Let's look at the possibility. It is certainly small enough. We could do it. Probably want it facing this way. Ease of the rail connection. Just uh, oh, whoops. Gonna head out for now, catch you down the road. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much, CD. I will catch you later. We will put in this new train link uh, in a little bit. So if you guys need to get up and grab some food or drink or a snack or something, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and get myself my tea made. So I'll be back in six to eight minutes and then we will put in our first, you know, uh, passenger train service within the city. So I'll be back in just a few. How are you not dead? Excuse me.
raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> Wolf Chow. Oh, hello. <laughs> that might not have been the best option. Um, that was not what I, I wanted this. Oh, crap. Oh! Oh, God! No! No, 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 no. Ooh. <laughs> I thought I was far enough away that he wouldn't see. <laughs> hey, maybe you can use your saber to make another bridge. What an idea. That's wacky. Who to thunk? Great, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> wow. How many times do I hear that a day? Nope, can't take all of us right before I take all of them. There we go. Spider Man one, robbers zero. been looking for you. <laughs> Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's <laughs> see. Ah, letter from the Moving up in the world, eh? Like that's it. Got to go. Oh my god, the timing. <laughs> Where did it come from? And he's completely unmoved by what he's just walked in on, too. Excuse me? What? The <laughs> oh my god. Oh my! So I'm kind of control you're attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life uh, finds a way. What? What? You don't get a much closer view than this. Added protection. EJ 
each vehicle is surrounded by aluminum oxynitride glass. So tough, it can stop a 50 caliber bullet. That's a pretty good tidbit to share right at this moment. In honor of Greenie, that went better than I expected. Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh-oh, are they hungry? Maybe this is more like Banished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little bit more of Banished. <laughs> They've lost my trail because I am so incredibly inconspicuous. So that was the Delamain quest. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I should have gone back and looted. This way! Oh. Nice move! Oh. People living near the volcano flee as lava and ash blankets the surrounding land. Oh, shoot. Okay, luckily he's a terrible shot. Oh! <laughs> I deserve that, let's be honest. Okay. Time Bomb Club. That's a terrifying weapon name, I gotta say. We're into November. Sniper now. ambush. Oh, God damn ah. it. oh shit! Not now. Add snipers to the list. Apparently. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. Nice! That was awesome! Gristle is still alive after all this? Oh man, he's got that whole walking through the explosion thing down. Yes. That there is our very first Reaper Leviathan sighting, guys. Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. If you're aware of this, you talk to Enoriel Eight Eyes. She is the representative of the Pathfinder Society and can organize custom mercenaries for you to fill any role in the party you might happen to want that the main characters in the game do not. Okay, I am back. <sighs> I feel a bit better now. Oh, thank you, Erlor. All right. Right, we were just doing terrain adjustments for the path.
passenger station. So let's put this in. might actually be kind of tricky. I don't have a lot of space for my rail connections. They're going to get in the way of the highway and the bridge we just put in. This might take a little bit of rethinking. I might have to replace this. I don't know if that's going to survive this or not. <laughs> wow. Well settled a bit lower than I expected it to. Um, yeah, we're going to have to adjust that as well. space underneath the rail gentle enough, then I can take advantage of the fact that it is a bridge and just run right under. this happen. I'm not sure about this side. Oh, you know what? I think I can. Maybe. Potentially. Um, oh, God. There's really not a lot of room here, is there? to put in a retaining wall. <laughs> oh, God, what am I going to do with this? I don't technically need that side to connect to anything, I don't think. Let's try it without. I can always try to fix it later. I could always just, you know, make the highway run a little further underground. deal with the road connection first.
this actually wants a uh, link as well. So there's parking over there. sure whether or not I need the taxi stop. We'll try it without for a while. That's, that's cargo. Where's my passenger station? Right here. So cargo. Still cargo. Looks like a passenger train. There we go. Come on, do your thing. Okay, let's let it get itself sorted out and we will focus on something else for the time being. What's going on here? 
no vehicles. There are currently no vehicles available. Consider building more depots to gain access to a larger pool. What is this for? Bus stop. Okay, maybe we have to upgrade our bus depot. Bus Depot. <clears throat> You're listening to we do have an awful movies. lot of buses in the service here. Who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere of the classical genre? Let us move now from the uh, musical page to the. Okay, we'll expand its coverage here. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My dear Professor Hornbuckle. <laughs> Whereas I make no apology for my erudite. 26 of 35. All right. So we might eventually actually have to make a new bus depot. Or maybe I could open up subways. I don't think I've got subways yet, do I? No. Though I do thank you. I need the subway progression node. So we could do that eventually. To continue. Professor Hornbuckle. As a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Leave that to those poet Oh, chaps, hey. Thing. Here's a tune just for you, oh, and I do mind. hope it Cargo provides train. your aching spirit some modest desolation. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. That's right. Hey, we have one. Say it's too much um. of a good thing. Or we could say that but we're that's enjoying green. a positive that's trade balance. That's green. not and going the to the university or the college, rather. More after this. Okay. We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. Oop. If you're in it, you What's this? Uh, you already know That's about another it. Green no train. use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. What have you determined about tax levels? I really haven't looked at them. I don't think it's as important in this game to bump up the tax rate. In fact, I think I might drop it back down to 12. I mean, it's going to have an impact, of course. But it doesn't seem to be nearly as significant as it is in... Holy crap, look at this. This is looking nice. Uh, it's not as significant as it is in the first game. Is 230. I really want to get petroleum, but we have to wait for that. Where is my train? I want a passenger train. the cargo trains going around.
it likes that that's a double track. It's the double connection that gets me. Something's hitching up the trains around here, too. That's kind of fun. levels what are things that are going wrong here <clears throat> special attention to negative factors so even after lowering high taxes are still a factor here reliable internet service reliable mail service service upgrades high taxes abundance of leisure time good education services so people are generally pretty happy despite chirper Chirper's entirely too realistic. Oh, we're starting to get demand in all areas now. Office demand, medium residential. We've got a fair bit of high-density residential, which is interesting. was noise. You are not wrong. That it was. Apparently there is a train here. Is it actually going to arrive sometime? thing is I do not see a train
Oh, oh. No. Okay, you know what? Green is confusing. Let's not make it the green line. We'll do Twitch purple. Is that it? I believe that's it. Two passengers, awesome. That's going, uh, we could probably use a park in this area. So let's take a look at our roads here. I'm gonna need to make some more space. Apologies for your house, but we need to extend this upwards a ways. There we go. We will do, what do we got here? No, I don't need you. Um, small park right here and we'll do a tennis court parking at the train station, but we can add more. So we'll do a medium parking lot right in, right in here. For overflow parking. Before. There's one passenger waiting. We only have one of two vehicles assigned. That's interesting. Maximum number of vehicles depends on the line's length. Newly assigned vehicles are not active until they reach the line. <coughs> Similarly, vehicles undergoing maintenance are inactive but remain assigned to Is the line. Seem like teams? <coughs> teams. It one seems hit. like we don't really oh, need oh. two uh, vehicles. Sure that, up. I think we've only got the one vehicle assigned, and that's probably I'm good. Sure turn up. The I'm not even certain we really sedan, need the one, honestly, <laughs> but oh, wait. that's okay. I shouldn't have said that. If anyone finds them, please oh. <laughs> don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old oh, hornbuckle never mobile, mind. please. It's not the oh, same one. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind them. <laughs> that's Thank green. you for listening to uh, Second Moon. 
And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high Building is on fire. Bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. It bothers me that when they pop those up, they do not function as links to take you directly to the event. Or so my wife I would me. really That's like it if it business. took you to and the event. That the goes community. for these too. Thanks, Jim. When the chirps pop up we'll and they've got the green links, I don't like having to click in here. It would be nice to be able to go straight area. there or get That's you know right, the person. Jim. But apparently that's not directly. All good news. Oh, hello. We're joined today by an expert. Oh, boy. Guest, Professor Nutbutter. Well, Fire engine Professor. has been dispatched. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move. Curse, right? somebody died. Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual uh -oh. rewards. Uh -oh. employed. <laughs> We seem to have lost our fire truck. Also, this roundabout seems to be binding up a little bit. I think maybe it's time to upgrade that. Perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna have to relocate you. I apologize to the buildings about to be destroyed. And its effect on the human. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was the police station. I guess we can't just displace that. Uh, sorry. These are expendable. Oh, shoot, is that already the largest roundabout? I'm gonna have to upgrade the roads leading into the roundabout and rebuild it. Come on, guys, figure it out. There you go. Probably upgrade this as well. So much better. Okay. <laughs> uh, I may have simply relocated the problem, but at least we did a thing. There goes the idea that roundabouts are magical fix-alls for all traffic woes. That is obviously not the case. measures time I'm gonna go the full-on 
eight lane divided road. I might not be able to do this. I don't think there's enough landing space on this side. What's that? Oh! That's the iron press. No, we can't get rid of you. I'm sorry. We can relocate you. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make this an elevated bridge actually. Which is maybe slightly ridiculous. But if that's how it's gotta be, that's how it's gotta be. It likes that it's eight lane, actually. Is this already the largest? No, it's not. Okay, maybe that's why. Man, I just gotta redo everything. It probably needed it. You've gotta move temporarily. Uh, where can I stick you? be back. That other section that leads into it, that's the jam? Yeah. Okay, you have to come back. Actually, I think you were on the other side. But you're gonna work there. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Ebert. Actually, do you mind if I hold off on that? I just made this tea, and it's in a Yeti mug, so it's still very hot. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll take a small sip. That's about as much as I can get without burning myself. That's... no. 
see, that's still going to be problematic because it was the proximity of the roundabout to the shore that was causing the issue. So what I need to do is just bring this out a little bit to where I want the roundabout to be. I'm going to put it there, and then I'll connect these in appropriately. Let's see if we can go six lane. No, it does not like that still. But we can elevate. And come in that way. a little weird, but it works. Okay, we have a fair amount of commercial demand, so I think we're going to put that back here. And we'll do residential of a higher density over here. time to sort itself out. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. I love Please how it doesn't tell you what the immediate area actually and try is. And stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Oh my god. Canes. What? We're on the air? Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't have Might said need that to upgrade a few of these roads, too. Don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind them. <laughs> Thank you for listening to uh, Second Moon. Industry in the region is on the rise, uh, and oh, when business uh, is doing this. well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. We've recently been having what some are calling the worst kind of luck there is. Oh, That's right. right. Today the old iron press building again. I forgot I moved you here. And you'll die. That's not exactly what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, that gives me the creep. Now that's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Pan did, you, did you say panic? She said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll stay and clear up the mess. We'll be back after this. 
I like that it doesn't cost anything to relocate buildings anymore. That is super, super nice. starting to flow a bit better now. I think maybe this could use a... Mm. Yeah, this kind of looks like it could use a bit of a bump up in size. there yet, but I think once it finishes you know, moving tr through the traffic that's already there, I think it'll be in a good place. It's definitely way better than it was when I started. might not necessarily be the worst idea now that things are getting a little heavier. We'll have to see how it goes. Oh man, look at all this foot traffic. I love how nobody in the city clears the top of their car off. They would so get massive tickets in Canada. Driving around with white topped cars like that, no. Okay, I think this is actually working. Look at this. A few humble upgrades is all it took. We'll have to see about here though. It might still be binding a bit here, but I think it might be okay. Three minute warning, by the way. Next break begins in about three minutes.
We only recently introduced that here law here in Pennsylvania. We just haven't had a snow since. It was technically enforceable as a hazard before. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, that's industrial. I can't really do anything to increase density there. You are upgradable. So are you. No. Do medium here. Look at that flow, it's beautiful. All right. Uh, what's going on here? Lack of high skilled labor. We're working on that gradually. We've got a new college. Speaking of, how's this doing? Line usage, 1%. Two stops, eight passengers. Awesome. I expect that'll get heavier as things progress. don't know, Navi. I'm not sure what you were referring to. Do you mean this? This isn't filtering. Neither is this. These are just, uh, you know, these are industries. And thank you for the shout-out, Aaron, though. I really appreciate that. Nothing like a multi-million dollar rail system for eight people. Hey, it's gotta start somewhere. But I need to take a break, so if you guys will bear with me, I will be back in a few minutes. This will be a normal break, about, uh, you know, three and a half to five minutes. So if you need to get up and grab something, this is a really good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. This one cannot possibly fail. <laughs> okay. Not really geared for that. Oh. Oh god. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, there you are. There you go. Mine launcher. I oh my god, I did it! I did it! I got rid of his stealth generator. Go back to the way you That's came, amazing. It's dangerous. I'm getting a credit. Oh, whoa! Well, that happened. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen. Oh my god. Thank you, Greeny. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Now I'm done. That was not the Jarl's cheese. Stop right there. But I won't bother checking. No! No, Cassandra! No! Damn it! You. Damn it, and Stara. Ah, uh, oh, Jesus. Make a little help here. Yeah, if it's this stuff you're talking about, Nubby, this is just because this is a natural resource. This is uh, a mining center. This is coal mining specifically. And then up here, that's our landfill. If you want to see pollution, this is the air pollution. So these areas are fairly heavy. And we've got ground pollution. I used to have coal plants in this area, so that's a little bit gross and contaminated. And uh, since we're mining coal here, it's not likely to get a whole lot better anytime soon. And then we've got industry and our new gas power plant over this way, so. Who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere? So that's where we're at. Water pollution. We don't really have much in the way of water pollution. Right here, where these outflow pipes are situated. That's about the worst of it. I make no apology for my erudite. Modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble. Devotee of the form and all okay, so uh, we need to get up to level eight. Where are we at monetarily? Hey, that's come down quite a Though lot. I do thank you. That's really honor. good. We had been up to about uh, four hundred thousand before. To continue. We've uh, really made some strides. As a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road weary soul. Okay. There Transportation's now, gotten more China, expensive. That's were. really Need not shocking. Leave that to those poet chaps. Our friend. minds are doing Here's very well. Forestry, you, and that's starting to do pretty well too. Even this, even though it's winter, desolation. our vegetable farming is doing we're, fairly well. We're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere. Uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. Somewhere in the but city. But if you're planning a that's, quick trip uh, out, you that, might want to wait a little helpful. while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now okay, shop for now, designer shoes while sipping Speaking of resources. A fancy local Java mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. 
Yeah, I think we're going to have to relocate these highways a little bit. Just want to take a look at what kind of resources they, those are. Okay, so ore mining, resource available. Coal mining, resource also available. Stone mining, you can actually quarry stone literally anywhere. So I'm going to get that set up at some point because we do actually bring some in from outside at times. four and then we can set up some of the ones that don't require specific resources it'll also set us up to get some of this fertile land here and down here it's a little expensive our cash flow is not the best but that's okay I could always take a loan if I had to Let's do a stone quarry. We've, nice thing is we've already got roads here from our forestry area. So we're gonna do stone quarrying down here. Maybe around here, just in case I want to set up another cargo train terminal. Let's put the road on that side. Put that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the road in first. Uh, let me just get a location. Where are we? Probably right around here. So, kind of along the edge of this indentation. Right around here. It is stone, right? Stone mining. Okay. Weird. Greeny, that's awesome news. Internet ordered, now just waiting. Hopefully not for long. That is exciting. How are you doing? You must be really excited to get everything back up and going again. have first game planned as you can see oh uh, yes Alan Wake 2 I've seen a few people playing that I can't tell yet if that's gonna be another one the that Omnid I like or is not. here bringing nine brave raiders what where's the best place to find arachnophobia support groups on the web 
Man, uh, what the heck? Thank you so much for bringing your folks over. How are you doing today? What is going on? Uh, guys, if you don't know the OG of Mana, we know Mana from Ultra's channel, and we've known him just uh, as a streamer in his own right for some time now. He's an awesome guy with awesome content. Please make sure you go give him a follow if you are not already. Thank you very much for the shout-outs, Aaron Laura. I appreciate that. How are you doing, Mana? How was your stream? What were you up to? Oh, wait a minute. The Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. That's the new one, right? That's kind of like uh, almost like a city builder underground, if I'm not mistaken. I would love to hear about that because I've seen like uh, I, I've seen a few of Burke Black's clips from playing it and it looks really, really fun. So please tell me all about it because that's one that's definitely on my radar. Probably not for this year. But maybe into the new year, uh, we might start taking a look at that because it sounds really, really good. I would love to hear your impression of it and your description of the type of stuff. Maybe not story spoilers if there is one, but, you know, uh, I would love to know about the gameplay and all that kind of thing. Uh, and folks, if you are new here to the channel, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every now and then I do a Lego build or two as well. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. It's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Sorry for the hitch early in the uh, clip show there, or the uh, raid video. I alt-tabbed out to check Steam to check on the game, but uh, if it's Epic exclusive, it was for nothing. I'll have to do it later. That's okay, though. Thank you so much for bringing your folks over, Mana. I really appreciate that. It sounds like that's quite the game. I haven't played a game quite like that in a while. I was actually watching Ash Monster's stream last night, and uh, she was checking out the new version of Ark. Um, I think it's Ark Survival Ascendant or something like that. It's basically the original Ark Survival uh, Evolved or whatever it was called. The one with the dinosaurs and all that. But it's on Unreal Engine 5 now. So it's the exact same gameplay, but upgraded to the new engine with all of the new content they've been introducing over the last however many years, etc., etc. It looks pretty good. 
I haven't played Ark in forever, but you know, it, it's it's always a good time. Speaking of survival games, I used to get into that one, and it kind of sounds like this Lord of the Rings game fits into that same sort of niche, only with more of a fantasy rather than sci-fi bent. I would say somewhat, yeah. Yeah, so that sounds like something I will have to look at at some point. That could be a lot of fun. So how are you doing, Mana? What is going on? It's really good to have you here. We are, of course, obviously uh, working on City Skylines 2. I am very addicted to this. It's a great game, a very worthy successor to the original. How's the city going? Is this the one you got lost in for hours on end? Uh, that was the first one, but this is not showing any signs that it's going to be any less addictive. In fact, I suspect it's going to be a lot more addictive. This has only been out for less than a week. Way out of my brain's mental capacity? Ah, you'd be surprised. It probably looks pretty scary if you're not used to it. You'd be shocked at how quickly you can get used to it. Right now, I'm setting up a new mining area, or more specifically, a stone quarry, actually. So I'm just defining the area where it can gather the resources from. There's a radius around the central building that you can go out from, and then I'm just sort of working the area to make sure that I get all the area, You're listening the to extraction the area that I want with within Sorgma. that radius. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial. Right here. I probably don't need to be this picky about Industry it. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no but I like to be bunk, that Glenda. picky about it, so We've recently that's been okay. What some are calling the worst kind so that's our new quarry. That's right. Today we are talking about the that will help offset some of the stone that importing that we've been doing. That's not exactly what an increase. Some of the new roller coaster tycoon way, games are too much for me. I had a really difficult a time with the last statements. roller coaster are game that I played, which was panic. Planet Coaster did, some years back. I used to stream it, but I really, really enjoyed it. But I found I get way too detail oriented. I mean, that's the same impulse that makes me make as close to a perfect circle as I can get with this thing. Um, I got the same way with Roller Coaster Tycoon. But the thing is, the projects and scope of the things you're building in uh, Planet Coaster are so big, it just never felt like I was making meaningful progress while doing it. Whereas something like this, I mean, I got really good results fairly quickly. So Planet Coaster is something that I would have a lot more success with if I played off stream, I think. You love focusing on one thing? Yeah. Okay, so we've just added our quarry to the collection. What else do we have going on here? Let's um, let's take a look at our production. Stone quarry. We had a little bit of a deficit. Let's see how this impacts it once I unpause. Boom. Oh! Wow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that was pretty significant. Now that is going to it, that that's gonna come back into equilibrium equilibrium. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that means our biggest deficit remaining is actually livestock by the looks of it. And I don't think we need a specific type of resource for livestock raising. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. Specialized industry can be set up anywhere to produce livestock, so that's pretty good. Income. Uh, that's going to take a little bit longer to sort of settle out. The income is going to take longer. Because, you know... There's going to be trickle-down effects where industries are going to be set up as a result of our new resource that we're mining locally. And then it'll kind of ramp up a little over time. We've still got this here, too. We can set up an industry here. I'm going to have to relocate this road, though. I didn't realize I was cutting through, but that's easy. That's not a problem. We actually can't use this one. This is an oil field, but I need the next milestone over here. Right now we're level seven busy town. Uh, we need milestone eight in order to take advantage of oil. So we have to sit on that one for the time being. Now we're gonna have some more agriculture over here eventually once I can acquire some more land. Let me check the radius if I were to... Oh, that actually fits really nicely. Maybe we'll do a livestock farm out here. Where's the road? The road connection is there. I'll give it a little more space away from the quarry just because of ground pollution concerns. I don't want to put it too far over because I want to take advantage of most of this, uh, you know, the fertile land. Okay, I'll fill in the rest of the space later. Get that in. And actually, it occurs to me... I can take care of that little problem right now. Kill two birds with one stone. I'll just make a road over here, and then we'll come down here to connect up this thing. So we'll run this out 90 degrees to the building, to right about there. A little, oh, a little bit of an elevated bridge. Ground level bridges. I mean, technically speaking, this is a train. I keep forgetting that. Oh, jeez, that's just a train. We, there's no reason I even have to bridge it. I can just do a level crossing. That'll do, just so I don't have to mess with this anymore. 
Okay, and so that's all connected up again. Now we can get in and make our massive livestock circle. Which, despite how it sounds, no, it is not a crop circle made of crushed and stomped livestock. That would be horrible. That will do. Okay. Let's let that settle in. I don't think that's going to be as huge as that looked initially, but... Man, the stone quarry is still doing really good. Look at that. Okay, so materials are looking nice. Material goods. We've got surpluses in metals, steel. Um, it hardly registers on the bar graph, but we've got a surplus of minerals, concrete, machinery. And furniture. Uh, We're a long ways away from a surplus of food. We're looking better on the immaterial goods, though. Media seems to be doing well, which is kind of interesting to me. Gotta go grab some lunch, we'll be back. No problem, man, no problem. Thank you so much for sharing your community with us. Okay, that is looking really fantastic. Look at that.
So there's going to be some fluctuation there. That's okay. That's all right. Okay, let's maybe do a bit of an overview here. Medical is actually starting to look a little more like a problem, especially out here. I might need a dedicated Fairview Town clinic. This could also use one, but it's definitely not worth setting up a whole clinic just for one industry. Not even one industry, one building of one industry. So I'm not going to do that. But I am driving really thinking. has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions road improve. Conditions. This has been a local public service announcement. Road conditions that are fine. What are you on superfluous. about? Masterful counterpart. You're Parking facility availability. Radio. Oh, they Spacing actually have a metric for judges. that. Interesting. Don't touch that dot. So road conditions are good across the board. I don't know what they're going and on about. On that is just a blatant story. lie. The commercial district Parking is facility we could maybe do a bit better with. More high -end do I have any parking in this area, actually? Luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for no. designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we almost. could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. I love how they argue. Let's come out to about here. And that's going to go right about here, so it has good access to what we're going to call Meadow Avenue, because it's really not a street. I guess it kind of is down there, but that's okay. It starts out as an avenue out here. So how is that going to impact our medical coverage? Looks better. Let's make sure that they are serving Fairview Town. Oh, you know what? We need to expand Fairview Town. eventually, but for now, I think that's fine. Okay. Operating districts, Fairview Town. So they don't cross over and get into Linden Junction.
healthcare availability, average health is 61%. Not bad. How about police coverage? Crime probability is only 3%. <laughs> oh my god. Crime success rate is 100%. That might not be ideal. The crime probability is pretty nice. The success rate is not so good. <laughs> uh, 3% of the time it works 100% of the time? Yes. Yes, that's accurate. That means all one a month are successful. Yes, it does. That is true. I wonder if I might be better off relocating the Holly Street Police Department somewhere more central to Fairview. I'm going to leave it for now. It's really only the gas power plant that has to worry about it. And, I mean, what could the possible negative consequences of crime in a gas power plant be? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Oh, my God, what the... What happened here? This, okay, I, I think maybe this might be what they were talking about on the radio when they were talking about road conditions. Um, we seem to have had a bit of an incident. I think that's two, that's two cars. <laughs> there was a bit of a bus accident. Wow. Well, I had been complaining that I had never seen one of the traffic accidents. Uh, I think one of the cars may have plowed into a building. On the plus side, this is a temporary issue. <laughs> Enjoy the lurk, Aranor. about this. What the heck? Okay, they're dealing with it. guys are complaining about high rent therefore you uh, you forfeit your house that has to go away and we are going to upgrade you you're on a busy larger road right on the corner actually so we're gonna make you higher density
I'm gonna drop the ticket price from eight to six. student housing in this area. Ten passengers, so it is starting to get used more. This area back here looks like it could really support some stuff. So I think we're going to do a narrow alley right alongside the police station back up into this open area. That gets rid of one out. Oh, uh, probably helps if I actually connect you to the road, huh? So we got Meadow Lane here. Do we'll do a dog park right in here. We've got stuff here, and I just clobbered a little bit of uh, housing. I'll put a few more homes right in there. Now, what kind of intersection did they put in? I don't know if I can... Let's find out. I would like to make that signs instead of an intersection, like a traffic light. There, perfect. We need yield signs though, and the ability to place them more specifically. I would love for traffic here to just have priority and not have to stop at the stop sign. Traffic coming out of here should have to wait for a gap. How delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. <laughs> What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it won't let me change that one. Uh, if ends, that one actually can't change. Most music these days ain't on the guest 
Maybe it does make sense to keep this with the traffic lights then instead of having the stop sign. Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yes. That way, a lot of the time, the traffic coming this way just won't have to stop at all. My sisters say whoever you've got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm. But I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time okay, of the Okay, what did we got smoke. over here? We've got more people complaining about high rent. And you'll find that means they that need here. more people living on that land to distribute the, the rent between. Person. So we're going to make that medium and do the same in the here too. Is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. We've recently been having what some are calling the worst kind of luck there is. That's right. Today, we are talking about the increased likelihood that you'll die. That's not exactly what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, that gives me the creep. Now that's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Pan did, you, did you say panic? She said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll stay and clear up the mess. We'll be back after this. Oh, uh, I need to pause before I do that. It's waiting. Connecting Spruce Street down here. Wait a minute, why are they both called Spruce Street? I hate that. That's no. No. There. really need a much bigger pool of names to draw from when naming streets. I don't think that we had nearly so many incidents of duplicate names popping up in City Skylines 1. Okay. We're getting pretty close to the line on elementary schools. I don't think I need to build a new school, though. It might be time to upgrade it, though. There we go. That'll buy us a bit of time. Wow. We have more college students right now than we have high school students. Oh, and you can tell the college hasn't been around very long. We only have 2.8% population that's well-educated. We're almost halfway to the next milestone. So that's going to give us loan limit, European high density housing, North American high density housing, and potentially the big one, oil drilling. here. What do we need for grain farming? Grain farming specialized industry can be set up on areas of fertile land. Okay, so we do need specific terrain for that one. We can't just do what we did with the, uh, the livestock and set it up all willy-nilly anywhere. The 
smog is just unbearable. There is no smog, Felicia. None. our garbage doing stored garbage 207 so we're nowhere close to filling this yet garbage processing status we haven't actually begun processing garbage that's maybe something we should look at doing sooner rather than later, but I can't do it yet. We're gonna need more development points so that we can put stuff into that. as I can. Three minute warning, guys. I have an ad break coming up in about three minutes. I'd love to get closer to the line here. It's not gonna let me, okay. That's fine, though. Full skill grinding. Now, 
where did I put our cargo terminal? It's up here. That's looking really, really good. Okay. some more offices in the city we do still have some demand I don't think the demand is gonna last all that long though so I think what we're gonna do is what kind of road do we have here that looks like it's a two-laner let's curve this around the coast a little bit Looks like the ads are about to start, so if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to be taking my final break for the afternoon, and I will be back in a few minutes. Then we're going to fill in this area back here, <coughs> probably with a mix of residential, some offices, and a bit of commercial. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Not sure where that boat went. Taking our first look. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Whoop. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Holy crap, how am I not. Oh god. No. Oh. <laughs> Come on, get up, get up. We have a man down here. Keep a lookout. I'll check this way. Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop everything. They've all gone. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, this is kind of encouraging. How's everything looking on your end? I'm playing on Ultra Max, everything set to the highest level it can possibly go to. It looks real good on my end. I do have, um, I do have the resolution set to 1080. I'm playing on 1080. So, I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? Now we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke. Brace yourselves. How did the police end up catching the man who was on the run in the bathroom? He stood on a set of scales 
and gave himself away. <laughs> what? Okay, I call BS on that. What? Oh boy. Oh, this feels very precarious. Oop. 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 Okay. <laughs> hey, it worked. Okay, I'm calling that a win. It's amazing how little I care about the stalkers these days. What the hell was that? The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Okay, I am back. Alright, so we were building out a neighborhood in here and I wanted to... curve this road in and sort of mirror this one. One of these days I've got to start playing around with the parallel tool. The unfortunate thing about the parallel tool, as great as it is, uh, let me see if I can demonstrate. create parallels to new construction. You can't just say, I would like to parallel this road that already exists. Or if you can, I haven't figured out how yet. Yeah. Apparently the other problem is, um, I don't know how to control the side that it appears on. Why is that down to 11? You know what, it's fine. Oh, that's cool, though. I like the way it bends. That's really nifty. Now, zoning. I want some offices. We've already got some around here. It looks like we don't have much zoned in there. So I think we're going to put the office spaces here. Oh, actually, that does not look suitable, which is very interesting to me. density residential right in here closer to the main arteries then we're 
we're gonna switch down to some medium and we're gonna put those along here. And then we're gonna want some commercial because we've got some commercial demand. So I'm gonna put in a few of these and the rest we're gonna do with standard commercial right there and along here. And then the rest, we're just gonna do some of this demand. To try to fill the never fillable screams and cries for low density residential. So this is going to take a little bit for it to fill in. What did I zone there? Interesting. this high rent well I'm gonna leave them to suffer with that for now because we just soaked up all of our demand for higher density residential Well, we've already had fires, Ben. Beyond that, don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. And I'm not talking just building fires. Those aren't really natural disasters. We've had big forest fires. There are more that are in the game, but yes, that's all we've had so far. You want to see a comet come? I don't know if those are in the game or not. I would be surprised if they aren't. Oh, I do believe. Yeah, we got Aurora. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> what happened? Oh, man. Wow, look at that response time. Holy crap. are on it. No sign of a fire truck, though. I think we're gonna need that. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> they just left. In fairness, the fire put itself out before they were able to arrive. They keep leaving they before the job is done. The has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local there public we service announcement. No? Okay, never mind. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuck. There we are. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance to hear the music of yesterday. I love it. That's so fun. And on to our main feature story. The commercial oh, we're starting to get a little bit of medium density demand again. As the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, oh, that's getting some well more well. office no demand. Interesting. Dilemma. Where's that new development we have? I don't think all of the offices I designated have spawned in yet. Teropas, Ash Train Records, Caffeine, Sing Tape Records. Oh, this is looking better for offices. Let's put one in there. Let's see what that does for our demand. Went for a walk by the Humber River today, found an oddly shaped stone that was too rounded to be natural. It looks like it's either a grindstone or a stone wheel. You'll post a pic in Discord. Round stones like that can actually be natural as well. It's possible that there's a fossil embedded inside. Sometimes that can happen. Unless you don't mean circular rounded. Like if it's flattened stuff, then yeah. Which kind of sounds more like your description. That would be awesome to see though. I would like to see that. actually like some of this to be office.
Very nice, Ben. I'll have to check it out later tonight. Right after stream, I'm not going to be doing much of anything except making pizza. But once I get back to my PC, I'll be able to check this stuff out. They're delivering to Gordlandia Medical Clinic. I actually love that. That's really good. Presumably that's the closest clinic to the patient. Man, we're getting even more office? Wow. Okay. We have more demand for offices. That's really nice. Okay, you know what I haven't done in quite some time? Let's look at our traffic here. Parking. We actually are going to have to look at adding some more parking facilities. We've got parking pretty well through this area and down here. But we really don't have anything out here. And we have nothing in these new areas down here. So I think what we're going to do is extend this out a little bit. disappointment. We'll put a big lot right here. They will adore that. That's great. There you go. Welcome back, Sketchy. And I'm going to put some offices in here. And here. And we've got commercial demand again as well, so let's put a little bit there. And nice big strip of it right there through here. It's going really well. It's really good.
Yeah, the music is really great. Still got medium demand, so oh, nope. Sorry, false alarm. Don't start rebuilding until I rezone. still have a lot of low density demand so let's squeeze some of that in I'm gonna avoid the actual Avenue area not sure what to do here I guess we'll do some offices they won't mind these much if they do that's kind of their problem I don't even know if they're gonna be able to spawn in that actually the demand is completely gone so let's get rid of that and I'll just do some commercial instead there we go they don't mind people. We're almost double what we were at the start of the stream. It is snowing. It is minus eight degrees Celsius and winter, which actually means it's a little on the cold end for it to be snowing, but not unreasonably so, I don't think. Pretty warm compared to lower temps, yes. Thing is, there's kind of an optimal temperature range for snow, and it's not common for it to snow once it gets below maybe minus 10 or so. It can happen, it's just less often. Actually, okay. 
There we go. A driving advisory has oh. been issued for the immediate area due Makes to sense. poor road right. conditions. No Please dense exercise caution demand. You must there we go. And try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. Now, I wonder this if that means there's been another traffic announced. accident. How delightful. Let's another see letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself? Hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yes, soul. A raison d'etre? Mmm, delicious. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known Place since stages. the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful cants. We're we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident oh. uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if uh -huh. you're planning a quick trip out, oh. you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're oh in boy. it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer busy. shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Well, it's clearing out fast enough. Wonder. We don't really have any road analysis tools, do we? A way to select an intersection or segment of road and see where people are going. And I don't think it shows you their actual, like, you can look at their destination, but. still pretty heavy. Yeah, I might need to look at ways to alleviate that. It might require... Actually, you know what? Tram service might be pretty good. And I recently unlocked that. I have to think about that. Unfortunately, it's now 5.50, and that means it's time for me to save, because I've got to go make dinner. Uh, we want to save here. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. This is... This is a heck of a game. We're going to be seeing a lot more of this over the Christmas season, November and December. But I think tomorrow, as much as I'm going to want to play this again... I'm probably going to end up playing some Spider-Man tomorrow. I really want to continue with that as well so that we can get through Miles Morales and then finally play Spider-Man 2, which by all accounts is just exquisite. So I can't wait for that one. Thank you for being here, Ben. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I could not do this without you guys. Uh, all right. Now, let me get my awesome list of folks up so that we can figure out a raid target and we'll get over there and see what's going on. So I think we made some really amazing progress in the city today. We got 
a lot of our income problems, I wouldn't say taken care of. We're still in the red, but we've gotten a lot of industry stuff taken care of, and that's put us in a much better situation, which is really, really cool. Thank you, Sketchy. I appreciate that. All right, it looks like we've got Catfish Winds playing some Sea of Thieves. Um, let me see. Terra, whom we know from Ultra Stream, is playing some Sk City Skylines too. So if you are not done with the City's vibe, uh, we can go visit him. I don't think we've ever raided him before. Casual Elephant is playing Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. Ray for Rachel is on playing Project Zomboid. We haven't visited Rachel in literally years. The Hunter Wild also playing City Skylines too. Hekime is on. Uh, she's not currently gaming, but if her title is to be believed, I'm guessing she's going to be playing Alan Wake 2. Ash Monster is on. She's playing Alan Wake 2. Little Sia is on, playing Alan Wake 2. I'm sensing a bit of a theme here. Luality is on, playing Alan Wake 2. And I think that's about it for this evening. You want to see the new Lord of the Rings game? Who was that that was playing that? Hang on a second here. Oh, that was Casual Elephant. Okay. Yeah. I think we've raided Elephant once before. Would not be a bad idea to go visit him again. And he has amazing overlays and alerts and things. So that'll be fun. We can go visit him. That would be a lot of fun. All right, guys. Have a good one, Sketchy. We're going to go raid Casual Elephant. And I'll get you the raid call as well. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe from other streamers, even from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Elephant's channel, see what he's got going on with uh, Return to Moria. See if he's made it back to Moria or if he's still in the return stages. So I will be back tomorrow afternoon, almost certainly, playing some Spider-Man. Unless the city's addiction really gets the better of me. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.